Welcome in. Today we're going to take a closer look at the Ghostbusters Firehouse. This is the King version. I'm going to focus more on the build itself as opposed to the theme and the characters. Not because I'm not a fan of the theme or the movie, but just because I really wanted to do this one based on the build. So I'll let you know how it was based on an alternative brick set. The set is 4,634 pieces and I got it for $150 Canadian on Yumco. I'm Stacy, and this is... Taking a look at the manual for this. Pretty basic, no pretty pictures or anything, just a king set number on the front. And when you open the inside, it basically gets right into the build. I do like how it shows the minifigures right at the front. And I do like that they put these stickers and just taped them on into the book. Quite a bit of stickers. But I like that. I didn't lose any of them, which is awesome. It's a good book. The binding is good. The pictures are really good. The coloring of the pictures and the quality of the paper of the book is actually really good. They're nice thick pages. We'll take a look with a quick spin so you can see all sides because this is a huge, beautiful building. The back of it, definitely a little bit boring. You can see these hinges here. Um, it looks like it should open from this side, but it's because when this opens, that's where the hinges are. Nice fire escape in the back. I love all the brickwork and I love the random um, brick looking bricks. I like the Ghostbusters flag and I like the uh, yellow bricks at the front there. The, they uh, really stand out. The warning bumpers for when you're back in your vehicle. In. Yeah, like that. they really stand out. These doors are very cool. It's got a smaller door in the middle there that opens and then these two doors open. Can't close them from the front. You have to close them from the inside. That's a bit of a pain. It is. The street lights are pretty cool. Very nice. Yeah. I like that you can see some of the things right through the windows and then these spots to put Slimer and the ghosts on. These come out and you can just, if you don't want to display these, you can just put a one by one there to cover it up. Nice. And I like the cool. pink underneath the pink ghost there on the ground. That's really neat. That's like the slime, right? Yeah, right on. Very cool. So let's open this up and take a look inside. So other than the outside of this being a spectacular looking building and being very true to the actual Ghostbusters firehouse, one of the best things about this build is the inside of this because there is so much detail. Now, I don't know if you noticed when I just opened this, like I said, it's a King version because this base plate is not quite flat. It drops down a little bit. So I have to push the base plate down or pull this up to open and close this side. So that's definitely a downfall, but the hinges all work really well. It opens up nice and wide and look at the details in here. Amazing. Looks really, really good. I want to start over here with our fire pole because I just love this. Again, the King version, but look at this. Look how well that works. <laughs> I'm in love with that. That is so cool. That is so cool. That fire pole is awesome. So beside that, we've got some lockers. It's all stickers on there with their names on. Your hands in the wall. Oh, sorry. And then you can see inside to these firehouse doors. And there's actually a little door within the door as well, which is kind of cool. There's a door on the other side. And then we just have like an office area. Get some boxes, some newspapers, <clears throat> a couple of desks and computers. And then we come over to the containment area on the bottom with some steps. And then we go up to the second floor where we have some steps and we have a full stocked kitchen. Very cool. I like how the kitchen, you know, you can see the cereal. That is actually a printed piece, which is neat. These chairs, they don't stick on to anything. They're loose. So you need to be careful with that moving around. But we've got our fridge. I've got it open right now. And a wood stove, it looks like. And then an arcade style game. And in the corner, we have a sleeping area. And then on this side, we've got the bathroom. The bathroom was a very cool little build on its own. Building the toilet and the flooring and all of that. And up top, we have our photography area. And then our recreation room. We've got a pool table and a computer and a TV. 
Little ghetto blaster takes us back to the 80s for sure. <laughs> 80s. <laughs> Our dartboard and little sticker piece beside it. That is um, where you keep in score, which is really neat. And I like this table. The couple of jumper pieces built into this mash. So you can put the table on and that actually stays. Yeah, it would have been nice to have something to lock the those chairs, chairs in. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Very cool, though. And then we've just got more stairway over on the other side. Now, on the top, on the roof, is where we can actually see that this is how it locks in. So that's pretty neat. There we go. So it keeps it, locks in pretty good. Yeah, it's really nice. I love all of this brickwork, all this little detail. And the front is just so, like the little lights built in and the stars on the top. Like you said, these safety bumpers. And then this was kind of the final build. That's really This neat. is street light. It's, it's really very cool. simple, but very neat. Very simple, but very neat. Exactly. Exactly. So on to the minifigs, which we have nine of them, all of the main characters. Now I will be honest. I did not rewatch the movie. I did not study my characters. It's been literally 40 years since I've seen this movie twice. Um, but I do love how all of these minifigures are included. I also did get extra hair and an extra head. So this head I had on him, but I switched it. I think it's a little bit of a beard because his head was literally falling off. It was too loose. So maybe that's why they gave me an extra. And this is her extra hair for when she turns into a ghost. I think the ori original minifig, instead of this um, headpiece, it was actually a gray bun what I could see. But the minifigs, I mean, they're not Lego, definitely. They're not Lego quality, but they're not terrible either. I mean, you get the gist for the character. So it just depends how into it you are to have the perfect minifigs. They have some accessories. I really like uh, the backpacks with all of them, which were individual builds as well. They're pretty good. They definitely go with the theme. Nice. I just love this build. Honestly, I don't know if we would have gone out on a limb and bought this ourselves, but there was so many comments about this build when I was doing the fire brigade. I just had to try it for myself. So thank you for all the comments and the feedback. Some of the downfalls with this set is the base plates did come with two different base plates that were different from each other. Um, and thank you for the heads up in the comments that I might get that issue when I received it. Um, but I did actually have an extra base plate that matched up to one of them. So I was able to replace that, which is good to keep them level with each other. I really love all the details with this. I love all the small builds on the inside. It took me forever. And I love that. I love having something that is a real project, which is great. I did have some extra pieces which is sometimes a negative and a positive because some of them, I think like I have a window that was an extra piece, a little bit concerning if I missed anything, but I do like having some extra pieces. I didn't have any broken pieces. I didn't have any missing pieces, um, nothing deformed or anything like that. So overall, I was really impressed with the quality of this. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that thumbs up and subscribe on your way out. And until next time, keep clicking those bricks.